The space race is heating up, and as a result, the rocket business is heating up as well. However, while SpaceX is dominating the sector, other firms significant in the field are attempting to stay up, and one of those companies we'll be looking at today is Firefly. As Earth's doom approaches, the sun and all stars must face the same fate. They must perish one day. The cosmos will be in enormous distress and anguish, and many of the cosmos's wonders will perish. But what if there's a glimmer of hope? Firefly appears to be a ray of hope, a startup aiming to be the next SpaceX, or Transformational Space Transportation Company. How ex-SpaceX engineers are fueling the space race with Firefly. This small aerospace company called Firefly has been thriving in the southern regions of Texas. There are many innovations and great achievements in motion as mankind races towards space. Companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Boeing are making astonishing results, but a small aerospace company called Firefly is beginning to make amazing progress in the space race. What sort of aerospace company is Firefly? How are ex-SpaceX engineers fueling the space race with Firefly? If these are some of the questions on your mind, stay tuned and keep watching as we disclose the answers. Firefly is an American private aerospace company located in Austin, Texas. They manufacture launch vehicles for a commercial flight to orbit. Its main objective is to increase access to space simultaneously. The aerospace company was founded by Tom Markusik, PJ King, and Michael Blum. Firefly was established in January 2014. They purchased fiber winding equipment for manufacturing composite cryotanks manufactured using an out-of-clave process. The tanks were tested at NASA's Marshall Space Launch Center. Firefly performed their first engine test, called the Firefly Rocket Engine 1, on September 10, 2015. Before the emergence of Firefly, Tom Markusik, the co-founder of Firefly, had served under several big space companies, both as a leader and technician. He served as the Vice President of Propulsion at Virgin Galactic, Senior Systems Engineer at Blue Origin, and served as the Director of the Texas Test Site and Principal Propulsion Engineer at SpaceX. He finally worked as a civil servant at NASA and the USAF as a research scientist and propulsion engineer. After gaining enough experience in the field, he decided to create his aerospace company in pursuit of his dream. In December 2014, Tom Marcus faced a lot of challenges. He was sued in court by his ex-employer, Virgin Galactic. They alleged that he had illegally provided Virgin Galactic intellectual property to the Alpha development team. Virgin Galactic also accused him of destroying storage devices, disposing of computers, and reformatting hard drives to cover the tracks of his fraudulence of Virgin Galactic information. In 2016, he was confirmed guilty of destroying evidence. Immediately, a major investor funding Firefly withdrew its funds, leaving them with no money to fund any of its projects. In October 2016, Firefly paid off its entire staff and shut down. They announced the sale of all properties at an auction organized by EOS Launcher in March 2017. After going bankrupt in March 2017, the company was recreated as Firefly Aerospace by New Sphere Ventures. The founder of New Sphere Ventures, Max Polyakov, who brought all the properties of the previous Firefly, committed to fully fund Firefly through its first two launches. The new management reconfigured the old Firefly rocket and engine design, and this delayed any test flight for at least a year. The development of the engines and exterior design resumed in 2017, after which they performed lots of fire tests of this Lightning One engine. As they proceeded with the fire test, a vertical stage test was closing to completion. On May 17, 2018, the Firefly Aerospace Company opened a research and development center in Dnipro, Ukraine. The research and development center was built to become a place of work for more than 150 people, equipped with 3D printers, meant to be an industry that manufactures high-quality metal parts. On October 10, 2018, the York Space System partnered with Firefly Aerospace Company to offer its customers a combined package of satellite delivery and launch services. In November of 2018, NASA selected Firefly Aerospace as one of nine companies to be able to offer Commercial Lunar Payload Services, or CLPS. The company would propose a robotic lunar lander called Firefly Genesis. In February of 2019, Firefly announced that they will develop manufacturing facilities and a launch site at Cape Canaveral. In February of 2021, NASA awarded approximately $93.3 million 
to Firefly Aerospace to develop exploration technologies for Artemis commercial moon delivery in 2023. Firefly Aerospace launched its first test flight on September 3, 2021. The rocket developed a strange problem during its flight vertically, then exploded using its Explosive Flight Termination System, or FTS. The Firefly Aerospace Alpha Vehicle is a cutting-edge launch vehicle with 1,000 kilograms of payload capacity to low Earth orbit and 600 kilograms to Sun orbit. The official Firefly projected per launch cost is $15 million. Back in October 2019, Firefly Aerospace partnered with Aerojet Rocketdyne to develop a single rocket powered by Rocketdyne's AR-1 engines, capable of delivering 8,000 kilograms to LEO, or 5,800 kilograms to SSO inside a 15-foot fairing. As of 2021, the first beta launch is planned for the second half of 2024. Firefly Aerospace has an amazing rocket called Firefly Gamma. It's a winged rocket that will be used to launch small payloads into orbit. It will be a two-stage rocket designed in a way that it can be reused. The small, privately funded aerospace company is looking to go public soon. They're committed to providing economical and convenient access to space for small payloads through the design and manufacturing of a reliable and reusable spacecraft. They don't intend to compete with the biggest space companies. They intend to focus on the lunar landing and exploration of Mars and the Moon, leaving the heavy lifting for the big companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and many more. Firefly addresses the market need for faster, easy access to space with a simple approach to technology. Firefly intends to make do with its available data from the last failure to achieve its goals. During the 2 minutes and 25 seconds of flight, they obtained a substantial amount of flight data that will be used at their Briggs Manufacturing and Test Facility in Texas. In an article written by Kim Kenneth, the CEO of Firefly, Tom Markusik, said that Firefly has been incredibly fortunate to have partners that share our vision and passion. The most difficult and perilous days of Firefly Aerospace were funded by New Sphere Ventures, founded by Max Polyakov. Early on, Max and I created the technological and business roadmap, the first launch of Alpha being a hard-fought landmark achievement for the entire team. He continued, the Alpha launch vehicle was developed by a world-class group of talented and dedicated technical directors, Firefly Flight Test and Operations Department, led by Ann Chinnery, Brand Abrocto, and Sean Riley, built Firefly's launch facility and successfully conducted the first launch. Firefly Aerospace co-founder Dr. Max Polyakov also stated that Alpha's first launch was a historic day for Firefly. I salute and thank the team that made the vision of Firefly a reality. In just four years, Firefly has developed and flown an orbital-class launch vehicle and is currently building our Blue Ghost Lunar Lander to go to the moon in 2023. It's been an incredible accomplishment in such a short time. Ex-SpaceX engineers like the CEO of Firefly, Tom Markusik, hired a former U.S. Air Force officer, Jason Mello, to lead a subsidiary responsible for sales of its launch vehicle and other capabilities to government and commercial customers. Firefly expects to make a second flight test in early 2022, with reaching orbit and beginning of regular flight. They also plan to launch 24 rockets by 2024. Markusik said that Firefly is presently spending about $10 million per month. He wants its revenue to solidify before going public. The company has raised $200 million to date in venture capital. NASA's goal of reaching the moon and exploring Mars is going to be sooner rather than later, as it partners with SpaceX and small private companies like Firefly. The space race is gradually becoming more exciting, and the goals of each entity become closely achievable, be it the space company or its clients. Do you believe Firefly's operations will continue to have a significant impact on the space race? Do you believe ex-SpaceX engineers will be able to land their lunar lander on Mars and the Moon by 2022? Leave a comment in the comment section below and tell us what you think and how you feel about all this.